welcome to this SQL tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. And today we're looking at how we can get temp table summary information with the SP underscore help system stored procedure. And that will allow us to get information about our temp table at a glance. Um, for if we wanted to do follow up things, you know, um, conversions or whether we wanted to move on to CTEs, a lot of this information would be valuable to us. Um, so here I have a, a temp table and the information that I generated, I've got a category name, a product name, units in stock, whether it's discontinued, um, and we've created our own product code with the concat with separator function. Nothing um, complex there, um, and we just wanted products that weren't discontinued and weren't null. So we were able to do that. Now. If we were just looking at this element, the select all from our active product codes temp table, uh, we couldn't see much at a glance. Now, ordinarily, if you hover over a regular object, or in this case, a table and press Alt and F1, then we're able to execute that SP underscore help system store procedure. And we can get all sorts of nice information uh, like the created date time, certain date types, indexes, and so on. Now, the issue is if you're using a temp table and let's say you try to hover over um, your temp table name here, this object, um, and you try and again, press Alt and F1, you're going to come across an error. Now, this is because um, as far as the, the sys.objects is concerned, um, our temp tables don't actually exist in a user database we're working in because they exist in temp DB. So we need to run a little script to change our database context to tempdb, and this is how it looks. So the slightly longer version is exec execute tempdb sys.sp underscore help, and then we have our temp table name, um, and that will give us the information that we saw before. So again, extremely helpful, especially data types, if we're gonna go on and do more steps, maybe in a stored procedure, um, we would we would need this information at a glance. Now there is a slightly shorter way to do this. Again, we have exec, but we can actually just replace that sys um, with two dots, and then we can shorten that code ever so slightly. And um, but that's how we would change the context to the temp DB uh, that's not going to be available in the database we're working in, as Alt and F1 normally would. As usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.